Yo, is that Drake? Nope, just me. Welcome back, subscribers and <clears throat> non-subscribers. In this video, we're gonna try mining Bitcoin directly on Elon Musk's Neuralink. In all seriousness, in my last video, I really wanted to build a giant farm of phones mining Bitcoin. But after doing some research and filtering through all the different phone mining scams involved in the space, I, I did end up figuring out a way to mine crypto on your phone. But unfortunately, I was only able to make like two cents a day. And after you factor in electricity, it was more like a penny per day. So the numbers there just did not make any sense. It would take me like 50 years to pay off the used Android phone that I bought to mine on. So I scrapped that whole plan, but I don't want to give up on the whole concept. Got to see it through, my boy. Because here's the thing. Building a mining rig, although pretty lucrative, it can also just be incredibly expensive. So with the phone mining video, I wanted to see if that could be an entry point for people who want to get in the mining game, but don't want to spend too much. It didn't work just because phones aren't built for mining. They're not powerful enough, but I got to thinking, and what's the next step above phones? laptops what if we try mining on some laptops which some of them even have gpus which is what you actually use for mining and especially if we get some good deals on used laptops can we actually make something happen here is this the perfect entry into mining or even just the overall very profitable way to mine thing is given that the gpu demand right now is incredibly high if you want to get your hands on some graphics cards you're usually gonna have to pay ridiculous reseller prices so i've actually seen posts online about people buying full brand new laptops with let's say I don't know, uh, NVIDIA 3060 GPU in them for cheaper than what the 3060 GPU alone is going for online for resale prices. So my hopes for this video are kind of high. I feel like this could potentially work. So first up, we need to get some laptops. Um, We have to start now. I already have one that we could use, which is this $214 laptop that i bought at best buy like a year ago to run a forex bot on it i don't even know if this even has a gpu in it so i'm curious if we can even mine on it but even if we can a little bit it might still be worth it given that it was only 200 now the next laptop is a little more serious i watched some videos online about laptop mining and this guy right here laptop he was saying that if you get good deals on this particular dell laptop it makes sense for mining he was wearing pit viper shades inside though so i don't know if we can really trust him all the way but he did seem to know what he was talking about where pit vipers driver has pit vipers now it can take a while until a good deal for this laptop pops up on ebay so i just ordered a new one on amazon with tax for 948 dollars and we'll see what kind of deal you actually need to get on that laptop for it to make sense third laptop i searched up best laptops for mining on google some random article listed the razor blade 15 laptop so i went on ebay and bought a used one for twelve hundred dollars the gpu in that laptop alone is actually running for up to seven hundred dollars on ebay so that's not that bad of a deal but then finally the fourth laptop i did some local searching and found someone selling this msi stealth gaming laptop which has a 2080 gpu in it and they were asking 1500 texted them asked if they were flexible on the price they said not really i said let me cop for a cool 13 to which they replied 1400 if i can venmo them so i went on my venmo app and saw that i had 1400 dollars on there but I'm really hoping to get my hands on this laptop for 13. So at absolutely no point in this negotiation did I lie, but I did withdraw $100 from the balance, took a screenshot, sent it over to the laptop owner and said, hey, I have 1300 on my Venmo looking for a new home. Oh, that's greasy. Yeah, that's greasy. And he basically said, yeah, I mean, fair enough. You drive a hard bargain. If you can meet me in blank, I'll deal. So I got this one right here. I'm gonna pick up that laptop off Craigslist and I'll see you guys when all the rest of them come in. It works? Yep. <laughs> okay, I believe I have all of the laptops here and ready to go. So let's get a little unboxing sesh going and make sure that they all actually work. Okay, so we have the $200 laptop, the brand new Dell Amazon one. We then have the used eBay one right here. Then the one I bought locally, which the owner actually recognized me from my videos when I pulled up. So I kind of feel bad for trying to negotiate with him like that, but that's showbiz baby. Shout out to him for giving me a good deal. Thank you. I appreciate that. Because apparently the GPU in this one is a NVIDIA 2080, which the laptop version might be a little different, but 2080s are selling for over $1,000 on eBay. So if you account for tax, I mean, I almost might have gotten a full laptop for the price of a GPU. Anyways, let's now try to boot all these up. Okay, so all four computers have now been set up and activated. They all work, which is great news. Now it's time to install the actual mining software on them. But before we do that, you may be wondering, Biaheza, 
Why are you setting these laptops up in this strange new location and not in your illegal underground mining lair? Well, let me tell you, this is actually an office that Bia has a corporate is leasing. And from what I've heard from the grapevine, paying for electricity is not part of that lease. So basically we're eliminating electricity costs by mining here. Bia has a corporate pays for the lease. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. Am I gonna shut down the whole building's power grid? Will be has a corporate no longer have a place to call home? Will I be out of a job? I guess we'll never know. No, but seriously, I am going to plug these laptops each into their own socket. So I think we should be all good on the power grid side of things. So once I was finished setting up windows on all of the computers, I then proceeded to turn off all of the antivirus software protection on them. For some reason, antivirus software and mining don't get along, it gets flagged as malware and gets blocked. So given that you have to turn off your antivirus or make an exclusion for the mining, I would be very, 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 very careful mining on a personal computer that you haven't completely wiped of your personal data. But once that was done, I went ahead and downloaded NiceHash, which is a very simple to use mining software. I know I keep saying I'm gonna start using something more efficient and reliable but nice hash is just so easy to set up I can't resist and I feel like it's fine for this test once that was installed I went ahead and just pressed play started the mining up and we were up and running right off the bat the $200 laptop couldn't even benchmark I guess it just didn't have the computing power to start mining which was unfortunate but the other three laptops worked just fine and then before I left I went ahead and flipped the laptops into this pyramid formation to improve the cooling and I let them run Okay, so it's now the next day. I just checked on all of the laptops and to my surprise, they were running pretty smoothly. With an actual rig, it can shut off from time to time, but these laptops look the same as when I left them. And then on top of that, the amount that they were mining significantly increased. But before we break down all of the numbers involved, there are a few quick issues with mining on laptops that I wanna preface with. First off, they can't dissipate heat the same way desktops do. You can do the pyramid formation and take off the back plate to help the cooling a little bit, but end of the day, they get hot much quicker. And so the laptop will automatically throttle down to cool everything, which decreases mining performance. So if you use one of those online calculators to check how much a particular GPU can mine, that estimated number might not be very accurate if the GPU is inside of a laptop. And then on the other hand, if the laptop misses the overheating and doesn't throttle down, you can burn up the memory modules inside. And at that point, most of the time you have a dead laptop on your hands. With a desktop computer, if some part overheats, no biggie, you can easily replace just that part alone. But much like myself, laptops are built different. You're not that guy, pal, trust me. You're not that guy. And so because of that, you can't always replace individual parts. So if something messes up, you can be out of like one or $2,000 that you paid for the laptop just because of one part not working. But thing is, we don't need these laptops to run for 50 years in order to make a profit. If they eventually give out, but they were running at a profit for a few years, I mean, hey, Greta, I'm sorry. We will never forgive you. I know this is bad for the environment, but just toss the old ones into some coral reefs or sell them for parts and get new laptops and then repeat the cycle, right? Obviously joking about the coral reefs, you could recycle the laptops or sell them for parts and then just get new ones, right? I mean, eventually you would probably scale up to building actual rigs, but to start off your mining journey, maybe this isn't a terrible idea. Let's, let's run all of the numbers here. So the used Craigslist laptop cost me $1,300. And when I walked in today, it was mining at a rate of $2.12 per day. So if you divide that up, it would take 600 days for this laptop to pay itself off at the current price of Bitcoin, which is around 34,000. The Razer, I paid 1224 and it was caught lacking earlier today in 1080p resolution mining at a rate of $2.41. So it would pay itself off in about 500 days. And then the Dell laptop that we bought brand new paid $948 for was mining at $3.04 per day when I checked on it this morning. So it would pay itself off in about 300 days, which now we're talking, that's that's under a year. The brand new Dell made the most sense, so let's run with it here, $3.04 per day. If we start mining using a different, more efficient software, we could probably get that up by around 15%. So let's say right now it can mine at about $3.50 per day. We bought the laptop brand new, but I checked recently sold listings on eBay and it's going for around 700 used. Some people are even getting them for as low as five, $600. So if you can get your hands on a good one for $600, divide that up by $3.50 per day, it would pay itself off in around 170 days, which that isn't bad at all. That's like five months. And that's with Bitcoin being at around 30K right now. If it goes back up closer to the all-time high of around 60K, well, then you're looking at three months of mining to pay off the same laptop, which that's that's amazing. So though laptops are not ideal for mining, I think if you do your research and get the right deal, it can make a lot of sense and be somewhat of an entry point into mining. But anyways, now I have three laptops that I'm not really sure what to do with. I'll keep one in case I need to use Windows for something in the future, but 
If anyone needs one for, I don't know, video editing or they want to run up some dropshipping stores, shoot me a DM on Instagram and I'll probably choose a couple people to give these away to in a couple of days after I upload the video. But that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope that you have an amazing, blessed, productive, flourishing rest of your day. Peace.